Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the full moon that's occurring on January 25th, 2024, and we're going to break down each life path number and the energies that you could be working with around this full moon. Before we get into the forecast, of course, this is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading or forecast, please take a look at my website and see which uh, service uh, best works for you. I'd love to work with you. You can book some time with me there. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, let's take a look. Life path number two. So you all are gonna be working with the energy of the nine and you're gonna be working with hummingbird spirit. So, It's interesting because with Hummingbird coming through, there's something here about rest after labor, homecoming. Um, There's also this very like spiritual component with Hummingbird. And there's also a very spiritual component with the energy of the nine. So it tries to connect us to our higher consciousness, our higher understanding or deeper understanding about ourselves. And through that, there can be a healing process. So this energy can be very healing. What's interesting is... um, you know, we're also working with the full moon. And so nine energy can also be about completions, closing out cycles, things coming to an end, um, releasing what's no longer serving us on our journey forward or our own evolution. And so with this full moon coupled with which full moons can also indicate some kind of completion or something coming to culmination with the combination between the nine hummingbird and the full moon, it's likely that you will see some things close out now. Um, But there are things that maybe you've been clinging to or you're attached to, but that are truly no longer serving you and need to be released. And when we're in a nine cycle, if we're not willing or able to release whatever that is for whatever reason, the nine comes in and it does it for us. So it's sort of like this divine intervention, which can sometimes be challenging to move through. But when we remember that it's actually divine protection, um, it becomes, a, we, we have a deeper understanding about why it is that that had to be removed or released. So I wouldn't be surprised to see if some of you do move through some things that need to be closed out, released, um, taken off your plate, right? And that can be relationships, career, projects, etc. You may feel the push to, well, let me back up. Um, don't, try not to fight whatever this is that needs to be released, right? Sometimes we are very good about doing that where we're not, we don't feel ready to let go of whatever it is, whether it's a relationship, a toxic connection, something like that, you know, and it doesn't even have to be toxic. It could be that it's run its course, that this soul contract is complete, that this person has taught us what we need to know and vice versa. And it's time to move to the next lesson, the next classroom type thing. It doesn't always have to be about toxicity and drama. It can very much be about seeing the beauty and what this person brought to our experience, no matter how challenging, and having gratitude for that while we move forward. So you could see that, again, those type of soul contracts, etc., are closing out now. What I will say, though, is also with nine a nine cycle, is that it, you can see new soul contracts come in. So it's not uncommon for a soul contract to close out around this cycle and a new one to come in quite immediately at following. Um, so yeah, so just pay attention to the people that come in at this time. Also, the people who come in at this time can be people who are in your life for a, a quite a long time, quite a period of time. So they're significant. Um So yeah, again, pay attention to who comes in. And it's not like you can miss this. Like usually when someone comes in around a nine cycle and it's somebody who's a soul contract, there's a remembering. It's like, I know this person across lifetimes or I feel very comfortable with this person or this person feels like home and I don't know why because I've never seen them before in this lifetime. So it's a deeper, deeper connection. Uh, So that's very, very possible around this time. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to say here? You could see your dreams being very vivid, some deeper insights coming in around this time. Very, um, it can feel almost like, um, divinely guided experiences, like very intuitive, very, uh, deeply connected. So again, I say, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the messages that come through, what people say to you, you know, what resonates and, you know, what is the deeper message there? It's the one that resonates for you. So what, how does it feel for you? And even write it down. If you're not sure what the message is, just whatever resonates deeply for you around this time, write it down because there's likely something there for you. 
if there's any projects or anything like that that you've been sort of um, procrastinating with, this is a great time to get those off your plate, to clean them up, to get, you know, again, type those loose ends and release them. With both Hummingbird and the Nine Energy, and I would even say the full moon, this is more about receptivity. This is not necessarily about taking action or initiating or, um, you know, being super ambitious. You've already done the work. You've already done the labor. You know, now let those rewards, those accolades, that recognition come to you. Let the, let those, the nutrients come to you. So if you have big ideas that come in around this time, this is not necessarily the time to take action, but this is a great time for planning. Now this full moon can last, you know, depending on what it needs to show you, typically it'll last, will be, will be most um, potent around the full moon, but then you can feel that for the next couple of weeks um, or until the next full moon. So it just sort of depends. Um, but this is a great time for receptivity, for allowing things to come to you and then you deciding what you want to do with that. Um, just remember, you've done, you've put in the effort. So now it's time to see the rewards of that effort. And it's likely that you will. Um, but don't try to force anything. Anything you have to force at this time likely isn't for you. Anything that allows or that um, moves in a flowing type of way is for you. So what you have to force don't, you know, take your foot off the gas because you're likely not going to get very far. <clears throat> Beautiful energy around this full moon for you all. Um, I think you'll find that it feels very divinely protected and divinely guided. So I hope it's beautiful. Take care. Bye for now.